going on my brothers and sisters let me get this straight here i'm your girl smart sister and this is the smart sister show and i want to thank you all for coming through um today i just think i'm gonna have a, a, a bitch session on what all i see uh going on with kanye west with uh, I've talked about it before, but I guess I, 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 you know what? I'm just going to talk about the untouchable people, uh, today and what's going on. All the different people in media, um, uh, in terms of talk radio, because that's basically the only real media I pay attention to. Cause the main, the lame stream media, you can have them cause all of that's bought and paid for. So I don't really trip with them um in terms of just talk radio in general i try to listen to more progressive um uh, radio or whatever and it's mostly white folks right and here i even listen to progressive media progressive voices and there ain't no black voices on there so <laughs> Woo, they're so progressive. And I guess that's what I really want to talk about. Black media in the sense of what we need to be doing and uh pulling together among ourselves because we'll never hear the truth from any of these other media uh sources and we'll never um get to the getting because most of all the black folks uh that miss cross that just got fired or whatever i think she got a little full of herself and thought she was part of the team and they had to remind her that she wasn't and i think that's what happens to so many of our folks that we're not going to really talk the truth because we got to get paid or some of us that think we are and get a little relaxed and start uh saying certain things then you find out you will you know they used you for a minute to get them some ratings of what they wanted but after a while when it doesn't bode well for you with white people you're the fuck out of there okay so um oh i've just been looking at the wrong camera sorry here we go um th th that's just it what happens with us some of us are they i call it the oprah syndrome when we just black enough to be cute and get patted on the head just black enough but then we ain't gonna never go all the way there okay because we still worrying about uh you know we don't want to offend anyone or we don't want to uh go too far and be too black you know same thing whoopi goldberg now she you got the right last name i guess to get you where you needed to go how at house or never when you said something just a little bit out of whack that they didn't like and they shut your ass down for a couple of weeks and sent you on a uh, a little paid vacation uh to get yourself together before you came back okay uh you found out that that last name doesn't really apply to you okay you can't get away with nothing and the thing that kills me we're not even saying anything uh all the way out the box most of the time what we're saying is true but if the untouchable people don't like it who owns your voice that's just it we as black people don't own our voice unless it's somebody like me i can sit here and say whatever the hell the fuck that i want okay and after a while they'll kick me off of youtube or you know whatever but in the meantime in between time i can still say what i feel and that's just the thing in america see that's what black people here y'all need to understand that we're not free everything about us is owned pretty much by somebody else okay let's just go and keep that 150 okay if they kick me off of youtube or kick me off of what where am i going until i can pay for uh some kind of streaming service or something of my own to put a show on other than that uh you know send it out to some friends or whatever but who really owns the media and we know who does but it, if you say who owns it then you're the one with the problem and i don't get that 
Okay, everybody. Okay, let's just let's just switch this around and say, what if black people were like the untouchable people in any other racial group that gets offended and gets talked about and gets dogged out? And what if we retaliated the same way? We won't talk about what uh how anti-blackness is the order of the day that's what this country is built on that's what white supremacy is built on being anti-black everything here is anti-black now before uh the white folks start okay look at this shit it is you know you can make money being anti-black all day long Okay, but if I say any little thing or call somebody out or make somebody accountable for something, then all hell going to come down on me. But you can still keep being anti-black and do whatever you want to do. Okay, when Kanye was anti-black, saying anti-black things, nobody canceled his ass then. When he said slavery was a choice. Okay, some dumb shit like that. Some of us don't even cancel him out. Okay, um, now you're trying to make him the face of anti-Semitism when basically what he's saying about how they treated him and because he didn't go along with the program is the truth. Okay, but nothing he can say or do will hurt you as a group, as a people. Nothing. You can make his ass broke and poor, but it ain't nothing he can do to none of the people he talked about that can hurt anybody. And that's the whole point of we can't address racism how we feel we should. We got to do it within the confines of what uh, uh, is acceptable to the racists. Okay? You're making Kanye the face of anti-Semitism, yet still... Uh, what's that, uh, Stuart Rhodes, Nick Fuentes, that are racist is all get out. They're not made the face of it. Here they go. Uh, the Rhodes do with Oak Keepers. Here it is two years later. He just now, uh, catching a little bit of a case and we'll see. He'll probably, uh, fight it and appeal it for a thousand years and that, but these are motherfuckers that got guns and came to the, to, uh, Capitol and was uh, killing folks. Kanye. Y'all already did, and then put in the media, he crazy. What what is anything coming out of his mouth gonna do to anybody? Let's be real, okay. But old keeper dude, y'all haven't demonized him, okay. And he did some real shit. Same thing. Nick Fuentes racist as hell with his Spanish wannabe trying to forget he ever ate a taco ass. Okay, is is all the way dirty, uh, anti-Semitic, everything. Y'all ain't demonizing his ass neither. But Kyrie or Kanye always make the black man's face the face of anything you want because you own the media, you run it, so you can say and put whatever you want on there about anybody. We've seen it before. We've been through this before in the 60s with the counterintelligence program. Okay, so there's nothing, and really there's nothing I could call anybody that has the historical meaning to it that the N-word does. I can call you Cracker, uh, Casper, uh, Peck of Wood, uh, whatever. Never does it have the history behind any word that will come out of my mouth like the n-word does okay so you all need to get over yourself what if we started being uh so offended by which we should offended by everything the hell that y'all saying okay we won't talk about how jewish people funded uh the slave trade you know if we want to go tit for tat we could it's a whole lot 
that you've done to black people. And I heard somebody on the radio the other day talking about, uh, well, what, what about Schwerner and Goodman? Uh, they, they were two Jewish young men that died trying to help black people vote in Mississippi. And black, but he left out Cheney, the black man. Okay, and when you look at Schwerner, Goodman, and Cheney, y'all go look it up. Cheney, the black guy, got beat to death in front of the other two Jewish guys. They gave him a little bit of a break. They beat and knocked and 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 uh, Matt just mutilated the brother and made them watch. And then they just shot them in the head. And then they threw them all in a in in, in a dump in a bayou, I guess. Or something with some water. All right. So here we go. Same racism. Oh, your whiteness in you. Like I said last week, the caucasity that you have put up what what the two Jewish guys uh, died for. But damn the brother that was the one that got beat to death. They didn't. Now, yeah, they gave their life, but that's two Jews. In how many? How many years? How many decades? Okay, we want to talk about hate crime. Okay. Asians have hate crime. They tried to make it seem like black people was beating up all Asians, which is not true. But, you know, that's the, the that's what they gave. They gave them money to deal with shit. How much uh, hate stuff happens to black folks and we don't get a goddamn quarter? And I mean thousands upon thousands of attacks. We talking about police, skinheads, you know, Klansmen, whoever that do stuff to us by the thousands. And y'all get three or four hundred or whatever. You, you know, burning a synagogue or, or painting a swastika, terrible, not a good thing. But losing your life or getting the shit beat out of you is a whole nother story. See, that's what we get. We not only get, we even got killed right up in the middle of the church. And we still being nice and let the little white boy in. Ooh, he came to Bible study. Oh, how nice. And then turned around and shot everybody. Okay. Uh, what? I don't want to hear about no hate crime. If we bitched and moaned about what happens to us as much as everybody else does, it would be a whole new day because we get the brunt of the shit. We get killed. We get beaten. I don't remember the last hate crime with a Jewish person where they drug them somewhere and beat the shit out of them and left them for dead. Can you? And it's not right. I'm not saying any of this shit is right. But let's just look at the real numbers. Okay, even with the Asians, the so-called uh, abuse they got wasn't coming from black people. But yet and still, everybody want to point at us and like we always the poster child for everything. And we're the ones getting beat the most. All the time. By everybody. We not free up in this bitch. We're just not. We can't speak freely. Somebody gonna say something. You can't move freely. Uh, you go to the wrong place. The wrong time. <laughs> we already know. What happened to you. Either you get snatched up. Or the police coming for your ass. Okay. It's certain places. Black people already know. Where to go and when. And when not to. It's an unwritten rule. We already know. We already got that. Because we have that culture that we've grown up under that has taught us a whole bunch of stuff. Y'all don't have culture. White folks don't have culture like we got. Y'all got ethnicity or, or uh, you know, whatever uh, uh, nationality. You know, you can do some French shit, some Italian stuff, whatever. But where is a culture that, that is has been ingrained in all white people across the board, regardless of their nationality, that they can call upon? Black people have that. We know about the police, the popo. Okay, we know where to go and where not to go. We know what to say and what not to say. Okay, we've all been thrown in that boat and have had to learn how to navigate all this shit. Y'all don't have to do that. White people don't have to do that. Asians don't have to do that. Okay, no other ethnic group has to do what we have to do. 
and it's been that way. But yet still, you want to bitch and moan over some silly ass dumb shit, you know, and, and, and they don't want to get called on the shit that you've done. And see, that's where I'm at right now. We need to start calling everybody out on their shit and what they've done to us. And let's see where the chips going to fall then. And we need to start keeping our damn money in our pocket, period. Point blank, period. Because everybody talks about us, uh, promotes anti-blackness constantly, and then they make money off of it. Who's running all the gangster rap stuff? Okay, who's making the clothes and the and the swag that we come up with, the outfits and everything, you know, or whatever. In a way, I'm glad uh, Kanye hitting it. Now, he, he kind of forgot and thought he was in the club, too. Well, he knows he's not now. And so many black folks that have made it have forgot what team they supposed to be on. That's just the point. We get caught up and forget where we came from and 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 really think we are part of this shit when you're not you're constantly told you're not that is the whole point of white supremacy okay and the fact that the oath keepers and and torio with the proud boys and nick fuente all these uh uh anti-black anti-semitic anti-everything folks can can uh keep doing the shit they're doing and look it's taken one two three four years uh for them to even come to trial double standard like a mother okay they don't have to answer for shit and especially as long as they stay anti-black and don't nobody give a damn about that now the anti-semitism may get them something Okay, the fact that they uh, uh, terrorize the nation's capital. But even with all that, look how long it's taken. Ain't a now one of them that got locked up that was the head of these organizations. One or two little people on the side. But the people that really organized the shit, where they at? They in jail yet? How much time they get? And black people get uh, <laughs> locked up for conspiracy, for thinking about shit all the time so i'm just getting a little 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 damn tired everybody got something to say and something to uh uh condemn us for and to make us the poster child for when they doing every damn thing so black people black people listen to me it's time that we start making people accountable the same way so every anti-black any damn thing talk about it and hold people accountable for it and stop running around worrying about some ignorant stupid shit that has nothing to do with nothing now you can talk about uh uh kanye with some shit but other shit he said is true and he's suffering for it has it been two three years since he said something that ooh, then now oh my goodness this is terrible no instantaneous is what happened to his ass instantly okay and black people quit worrying about uh uh gossip shit when you need to be looking at who is doing you right now and who is taking your money and who is treating you like shit that's what you need to be worrying about and 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 make a big shit make a big stink about that okay Make a big stink about uh, uh, in politics how they don't want us to vote. Okay, well, my thing is then vote for something else then. You ain't got to vote. And our ancestors didn't die for us to get treated the way we treated. Because white women are the ones voting against our best interest and their own too. White women. That's why Stacey Abrams didn't win. White women didn't vote for her. Okay, if Warnock wins, I'll be surprised. I'm almost thinking Herschel Walker gonna win, and we shall see Tuesday. Uh, because if white women get behind them, it's a done deal. Okay, go to the source. We need to start looking at what is the source, what is the real reason stuff is happening, and why, and 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 who. 
once you figure that shit out, then you can deal accordingly. And that's what we need to do. It's too many black people with too much uh, going for us and too much um, money and everything else that we need to put together and get some stuff done and stop running from your own people and acting like you the shit and, and that the other stuff that those people do doesn't apply to you because you a damn lie. It don't matter how much money you got. It doesn't matter. How, I mean, uh, Kanye was a billionaire. He ain't a billionaire now. Just for saying some stupid shit. He ain't hurt nobody. These white folks hurt people <laughs> and don't get nothing. So just wake up, folks. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time. It's a new day. And it's time for us to start making a whole bunch of people accountable. Because I bet you if all these athletes and, and entertainers and everybody else started getting new agents, new everything, new lawyers, new everything, let's see where stuff is going to go then. Okay? So that's it. I, all I got now, I'm going to have to probably do a show on Tuesday after I see who wins uh, this Senate race. That's going to be interesting. So I will see you guys then.